Hey everybody, Vicious Grandma here for Games Never Finish. Sorry it took so long to get back. It's been uh, been on vacation and my internet has not been cooperating very well. So luckily there is a new service coming into the area, so I'm about to make that switch. Uh, so I'm going to get a lot faster speed, so hopefully that will eliminate a lot of the um, streaming problems I've been having uh, recently. So um, other, th other than that, we're getting a lot of grinding. Um, I'm now at a point where I think I'm pretty good that I can finish the game. Uh, so that's my attempt to do is to finish this game. So uh, yeah, let's go get to the game then. So pretty much have been in the same area grinding away. Um, one of the things I didn't think about when I was grinding was the monopoly or the monopolize skill, which basically takes all of your, um, which basically steals all the XP. So none of the part your party will get it except for you. So, after grinding with Nina and Gar for a long, long time, um, I just, <laughs> it just was a big pain in the butt, to say the least. The other trick I learned too is that if I put uh, Ray in a uh, werewolf in his monster for were tiger uh, form, he goes berserk, so he can also hit your party too, which is not good. But if I use the full skill, that first skill you get like at the beginning of the game, and I put it at a particular individual, then he just you know, he just tears the house down. And focus on that entire enemy. Right there. So. another healer and can also you know resurrect people and then 
going to keep Ray in my party because there's a couple of good game items that he can steal um, that would be beneficial for the rest of the party. So we'll do that then and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ito.
going ahead and uh, let's go ahead and um is the night that I finally beat this game. It's been way too long. Jeez. All right. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I 
uh... Like a cat. So weird looking.
because there'd be sand in your computers. That's Pico. Oh, that's right. Because Pico's technically Egg Drazel. <laughs> friends. So, at this point, uh, 
you have two endings. You could either A, you could either A, accept, give up your power, and the game ends, and you see a cutscene of everything kind of being the way it is. Or you have to fight the boss. So we're gonna go fight the boss. Because obviously I didn't go all this way just to see one ending and uh, not have a final boss battle. Alright, so do I hit her with my sword? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, I have to talk to every... This game. Ugh. I thought I was going to sneeze, so I muted my mic so you guys didn't have to hear me go. A shoe real loud into the microphone. Alright, here we go. Alright. Side two, I'm going to choose my own path. All right, let's do it. Let's choose three party members to fight against the goddess. All right. We'll do. So, uh, well, let's get Momo back in here. All right. Uh, whew, 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 whew. Let me do this, so then I get my speed. <sighs> or I do that and I have more better defense. Mm. I'll do that and then I'll just buff up my defense. Alright, 
We'll try this and we'll see what happens. Where are you going? Wait, what? Oh, okay. That's that's a weird transition.
リフ。
トラル Beat the game! Holy cow! <laughs> thank Hawks, thank you. Appreciate it. Wow, holy cow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Once I figured out I could use the influence skill with uh, Ray's Wear Tiger, it was pretty much could do some big damage to her and not have to worry too much about him. Just had to get his speed up.
there's a sword in the sand. system was great too, really enjoyed it, um, really enjoyed the characters, it seemed like each character had their own personality and they added something to the story, so there wasn't like one person which you thought like, oh well, this person didn't really add anything, they're just kind of there, um, and then I liked kind of the two act thing, like the out of, um, kind of the childhood and adolescence, I think that was really good, uh, Except the second half of it, it just felt like you're grinding all the time. You have to do all these stupid missions that really, if you eliminated all of them, it would probably have taken you 20 minutes to get to the uh, Desert of Death and another 20 more minutes just to get to Amira. So I felt like it was almost like, well, let's extend this game, so let's add as much crap in here as possible for the player to do to get the game done. Um, and the other thing I didn't like were the enemies. I just felt like the enemies were just rehash of old sprites with different powers and different techniques, but they, they just didn't really do it for me. Um, and then also the power level was kind of weird too. It's like you could fight all these guys that are pretty easy and then all of a sudden you fight somebody and they're super difficult. Like King Goo, for example. Like he could hit you one time and you're dead. Um, and I didn't like how sometimes you had to grind a lot, which I felt like I was doing a lot of grinding to get to the point where I could actually finish the game. Um, but overall it's an okay game. I mean, I think if you were playing Breath of Fire 1, Breath of Fire 2, and then you went to go play Breath of Fire 3, I think there's a part of you that would say, wow, look at everything they do. They really beefed up the story, they beefed up the gameplay, everything's great. But then, you would kind of miss the simplicity of it, because it feels like you're just grinding, grinding, grinding. Uh, which probably is the reason why I stopped playing, because I was just tired of grinding. 20 some years ago, uh, but yeah, um, again, fantastic game, and again, this game was voted by you guys, the viewers, to, um, what to play, so, um, I 
think what I might do is I might go back to the gameplay, um, go back through the game again, and, um, and see what happens if I pick the other option. Let's look at the other uh, ending. So let's do that. Oh, and the other thing was the music. The music was... I really like the music in this game. Alright. Okay. Is there any more to the story? Oh, there we go. Now is Pico playing in the sand? Or is this supposed to symbolize that there's new life growing? Ah. Yep. <laughs> so I guess Mira was wrong. The brood can grow life in the desert. Set everything. Hold on, real quick. Uh, all right, hold on.
All right. Okay, let's check the other box. See what happens. Give up my power. Let's see what happens. Basically, if you pick that ending, you're going to get the, um, it's going to take you back. It's like, you know what? We're not happy with that ending, but if you play the, you fight the boss and get the true ending, then you can't get out of the game. You just look at a plant in the desert. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me tonight so thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting this channel um again voted by you guys we are um going to be playing Sakodin 2 next so i will get that ready in about a couple weeks i'm going to be taking a trip to go visit some family out of town um you know try to get out as much as you can with covid but now it seems like maybe i won't because numbers are climbing so um but with that being said, uh, so Coding 2 is next on the docket, and once I play that game and beat that game, that will officially end Season 3, and uh, we'll start, again, taking votes for what you guys want to see me play in Season 4. Alright, take care guys, hope you have a great day, bye.